Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome to Lens Island, which is a sort of part crafting, part exploration, part survival game where we find ourselves stuck on an island and we have to craft and farm to survive, we get to build our own home which sounds all sorts of marvellous, and we can go exploring to uncover the mysterious secrets of the island. It's in early access right now, there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below if you're interested, and we were given a key by the devs, so a huge thank you to them. Anyhow, let's dive right in shall we, let's pop over to Lens Island and see what's going on. Okay, so it looks like we have to do a little bit of character customization before we get into the main game, which is fair enough, I suppose. So I guess this is Len. Hello, Len. Everybody say hi to Len. And Len has very handily bought a wardrobe with them, which is very useful for character customization. However, Len, you have left the wardrobe in the middle of this path which is very, very inconsiderate to other path users. We'll move it over in a bit, I suppose. So where is Len from? So Len could be from Jaro Islands, Zengard City, Acacia Plains, or Garth Hinterlands. I mean, Garth Hinterlands sounds a bit like a country music superstar, so let's not go for that. I think Acacia Plains. They sound quite nice. Let's go for Acacia Plains. And what is Len's facial type? Masculine or feminine? Uh, okay, we'll go for feminine, because why not? Does Len wear shoes? No, or definitely not. Okay. <laughs> right, so we're not big on shoes. Definitely no shoes in the wardrobe. Okay, no, definitely not. Outrageous. Um, okay, here we go. Right, so now we get to customise our character a little bit more. So, okay, I guess this is hair, I assume. Yeah, there we go. So what hair shall we have? I quite like that, but let's make it a lovely sort of platinum shade. I do like that. That looks good. So I guess this is going to be what we're wearing on our top half, I would assume. Yeah, there we go. So a nice sort of jacket, long sleeve jacket. We can have a little sort of waistcoat type thing, or we can have, I assume that's a backpack. I quite like that. I do think that looks quite good. I assume we still have a backpack. I like that. That looks like an island survivalist type of a waistcoat. We can only have it in that color, which is a bit unfortunate, but never mind. Okay, so what's this? This is our shorts, I assume. Uh, no. That's the top we're wearing underneath our fancy island survivalist waistcoat thingamajig. Um, okay, oh, and we can have it geek covered corporate blue. Okay, very happy with that. So short sleeve, hang on, what was that one? That was, okay, so that's got no buttons down the middle. That's got fancy buttons. That's long sleeve. And that's got fancy buttons. Can we have that in blue? Yeah, I quite like that. That looks quite nice. So that must be, yeah, there we go. So that's what we're wearing on our legs. We can have trousers. We can have kind of, you know, sort of uh, long shorts, whatever you call them, or short shorts. Let's have the long shorts and let's make sure they are the same color as the wonderful waistcoat we're wearing. So there we go. Our version of Len has been set up. Let's get on with it and go over to the island. So here we go. And isn't it pretty? It is very, very pretty indeed. Okay, so here we are. So we're wandering around on the beach. Now let's have a quick look at what we've got going on. So down here, it looks like we have a sort of machete. So yeah, okay, a knife. Uh, that's not a knife. This is a knife. Very good, very good. Little kind of caption thing. So we have ourselves a knife. We have a hatchet, so an axe. And we have ourselves a pickaxe. Okie doke. Do we have anything else? So there we go. So that's a tab to open our backpack. So in the traveler's backpack, we have no resources of any kind, but there's wood, there's fibers, there's clay. There's glass. Oh, crikey. Okay, right. So there might be some glass around, some sapphires. Okay, so some shiny, pretty things, some light stones, uh, some regular stone, limestone, coal, shards, salvaged metal. Ooh, and dark essence. Okay, right. So there's some, you know, mysterious kind of shenanigans going on. Okay, though. And then we have food. So food and farming. So there's all sorts of different food resources. So pumpkins and bananas and blueberries. And here is the crafting. So here is where we can go crafting. So we can craft things for a wooden building, a stone building, okay, very fancy, or an ornate building. Oh, that's all very, very posh indeed. Oh, hang on, what's all this? So that is, uh, okay, that's farming. That's a kind of farming sort of frame thing. That's a well. What's that there? That is a bed and a workbench. Ah, right, I kind of feel like maybe a bed and a workbench are going to be very important things to get in quite early on. And then we have ourselves a drawer and a chair. And is that kind of it? Oh no, some uh, like a little torch and a plant pot and a medium plant pot and a rug and a table. Okay, right, so we have a number of things to make ourselves a nice sort of comfortable home. Um, however, uh, however, how do we make the backpack go away? Backpack, away with you. Hang on, what does F do? Nope, that is precisely not what I wanted to do. Um, okay, hang on, if we just hammer that button. There we go, escape makes everything go away. Um, 
So this thing here, I noticed that's lit up. That's lit up as soon as we've kind of hovered over it. So if we just sort of hack at this with the machete, ah, right, we sort of chop into it, ah, okay. And we just run over things to pick them up. Okay, right, I'm on board with that, I like that. That's nice and simple, no complicated picking up individual items. We just kind of run over them and we pick them up. Okie doke, right, so there we go. So we've picked up some, what is that, like plant fiber? Uh, hang on, is that in there? No, is it in there? Yes, there we go, so yeah, plant fibers. Okay, right, so they're going to be, how do we get rid of that, is it escape again? Right, there we go. Now, what is this? Have we arrived on this? Um, okay, right, I think this is how we got here. We got here on this little kind of sort of makeshift raft thing. So there's a little bedroll, and there is, ooh, okay, right, a floaty tool tip thing has appeared. Okay, right, hang on, let's have a look at this. Okay, right, fair enough. So we can drag and drop things to our toolbar and then use them. Okie doke, that's fair enough. Right, so we have a chest there and a little kind of bedroll thing just there. Okay, right, so let's have a wander about the place. It's very pretty. It's very, very nice. Ah, what's that over there? It is, it's the remains of a little kind of wooden shack, but the side is kind of caved in a bit. Can we get this? Can we get that stuff? Hang on, hang on. Wood using this help. Is that going to help? Yes, it's a bit slower, but it seems to be the thing to use to actually, you know, get hold of, you know, wooden items because we're hacking at it with the proper tool. Okay, so if we just run over that, Ah, okay, so then do we chop at this? No, we don't chop at that. Um, okay, okay, are we supposed to repair this? I don't really know. I'd rather build my own place. I want to build it near the water. I want a lovely sort of view of the sea or the lake or wherever we are. Um, can we chop down a tree? Uh, okay. Oh, crikey, time each attack to trigger a critical hit for more damage. Okay, you can deal more damage timing your hits instead of holding down to auto hit. Time your next swing when you see the crit circle expanding. Click during the crit window to trigger a critical hit. Okay. Uh, right, well, let's let's give that a go then. I don't think I did it then at all, but okay, look, right, hang on, hang on, hang on. You know, practice makes perfect and everything. Oh, hang on, hang on, right. The, the, the circle thing is really, really at the end of the swing on this one. Hang on, so like that and then like that. Oh yeah, we did three extra damage to that tree. Yeah, take that tree away with you. Right, okay, hang on. One more hit on it, maybe? And down goes a tree timber. And there we go. Just pick up more stuff. I don't know if we have a carry capacity or anything, but we are picking up quite a lot of stuff. Okay. Okay. How about then? I assume this is clay. So let's have a little mine into this clay. Oh, hang on. We should do that. We should do the critical hit thing again. There we go. Boom. So do that and critical and critical and critical. Oh, yes. This is very good. Oh, we're timing this perfectly. Look at us mine. Now I assume. Oh, there you go. We got one clay out of that and then seven clay, and a load of clay. Okay, okay, right, so the game mechanics are quite simple. So now I've just got to figure out exactly what to do. Take that flowery thing. Uh, okay, let's have wander over here. Ah, what's this? A bridge leading to Bridgewater Town. Okay, but I think it's fair to say the bridge has seen better days. It looks a little bit broken. Could we repair the bridge? Uh, yes, with 80 stone, and 40 limestone. Okay, right, that seems that seems like quite a lot. I think what we need to do is... Um, hang on, what, what are these two meters? Health and hunger. Okay, right, we might need to find something to eat. That might be quite helpful. Is there any food anywhere? Can we go wandering about the place? Is there food? Um, there's a barrel. Do we, do we care about this barrel? Do we hit the barrel? Take that barrel. Uh, hang on, let's blow up the barrel. Okay, is there anything in the barrel? Uh, some scrap metal, apparently. Okay, right, so there might be some sort of barrels lying around the place. Can we swim? Can we swim out to that? Yes, we can. Can we Can we use any weapons or anything while we're swimming? No, unfortunately not. Is that limestone? Is that limestone? Could we get some limestone from this? Um, it looks like we might be able to, yeah, because that's required to repair the bridge. kind of feel like we might want to repair the bridge sooner rather than later. Um, okay, right, well, let's see if we can demolish this limestone pile. Okay, yes, we can, and we got quite a pile of limestone from it, which is good, you know, building resources are very, very handy. However, food right now is going to be even more useful because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to last that much longer without starving to death. Um, can we eat plants? Can we eat the plants? Do we need to find some plants to grow? I mean, if we got, you know, berries and carrots and things. Okay, there's some flowers over here. Do you want to hack at those? 
Uh, no, that just gets that bush, which is useful. You know, it's all good. All this material is good, but I don't think we can eat it. There's some flowers over here. Okay, so chop at that and chop at that. Take that, blue flowers. That was... Ah, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Is that... Uh, hang on. Go to the backpack thing. Go into here. Um, oh, no, they're down here. I think they've gone from our backpack into our sort of quick... Sort of equips a lot of things. Is that blueberries? I assume it is. Yeah, blueberries. Found in abundance in shady grass areas. Can be replanted in farms. Okay. But right now, we might need to eat some blueberries. Or else we're going to starve to death. And that's all going to be very sad. Lens Island's going to be terrible. Um, okay, hang on. Is that more? Is that more blueberries? I think it might be. Okay, take that. There we go. There we go. So another three blueberries. Right, okay. I think this might be what we survive on for a long, long time. Our diet is going to be quite blueberry heavy unless we happen across, I don't know, a little sort of uh, little vegetable patch or, I don't know, some animals or something. Do we go hunting? I am not entirely sure. Uh, okay, let's wander up here. What is over in this direction? Ooh, what's that? That looks like it's a different colour. That was, uh, hang on, what's that? Lavender? Yeah, lavender can be replanted in farms. Do we want to have a lavender farm? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so guys, so we're picking up blueberries. Um, ah, we have ourselves, what's that? That is a broken bridge. We can repair that for 80 wood and 20 fiber. Okay, we might come back and do that at some point in the future. I kind of feel like right now, we need to set up a little home. We need to set up a little base, I think. Um, where do we want to do that, however? I mean, this does look very nice. Over here looks quite a nice spot. Maybe over... I mean, where's a load of room? Where is a lot of room? Can we build on the beach? Can we build out into the sea? That would be amazing. Hang on. Uh, how do you reckon we eat some of the blueberries? Because we are going to die of starvation. Um, do we... Uh, do we click that? No, do we press 4 to sort of use it? There we go. Right, so... Eat some blueberries, Len. There you go. Delicious. <laughs> Get used to it, because that's all you're going to be eating for a long, 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 long time. Um, yeah, right, so let's go over here. How much wood have we got, actually? How much wood? 46. Okay, how about we lop down another tree or two? So away with you, tree. Let's do this sort of super choppy thing. Yeah, there we go. I like that. I like the fact there's a special attack you can do to make it even more effective. So choppy down the tree. Farewell, tree timber. And there we go. Pick up a load of that. So now we have 20 extra wood. So can we now go over... Uh, hang on. Hang on. Where was that bridge? Because that bridge leads to a town. So we might want to set up near the bridge. Where is the bridge? The bridge... Yeah, okay. Let's set up over here then. It would be quite nice if we could build out into the sea. That would be wonderful. If we could build out over there, that would be nice. What's that? Um, oh, that's where that barrel was. And we kind of blew it up. Okie doke. Right, so how do we do crafting? And can we make a bed? Because a bed would be important. Um, okay, what do we need for this? Um, oh, hang on, we need a special type of... Ah, right, we need special building materials for an ornate building. I don't think we have that kind of stuff. Hang on, what is that there? So, 5 clay, 15 limestone, and 20... Is that just regular rock? Regular stone. I think maybe let's not start by building an ornate building. How about stone? We could build a stone building. We could go and grab some stone, possibly. Hang on. Um, where are clumps of stone? We've seen a few of them. There's one. So can we do this? Can we start making a fancy, extravagant kind of stone home? Rather than an ordinary wooden one. We're going all posh. So let's get rid of this for a second. Now, what I don't know is, does anything happen if you sort of stay out at night? You know, are there beasties? Monsters? Do you get tired? Do you lose your mind? What? I'm not entirely sure. I do not know. Um, can we chop at that? No, we cannot. Okay, so it's got to be special sort of designated clumps of stone that we can then go and harvest. Um, okay, right. Well, there must be some more stone around because, you know, otherwise we're not going to be able to build much out of stone. So let's go and see if we can find some more sort of stone lumps and then hack them apart and get the resources. Okay, so I've not found much stone, but I have found this kind of dilapidated building over here. What is this? An abandoned fishing shack. Once the perfect residence for an experienced fisher hasn't been lived in for many years. With some love and care, this shack could be home to a fishing friend one day. Oh, that sounds nice. I want a fishing friend. There's something just there. What's that? That was... Oh, it was an old bottle that got us some glass. Oh, I see. That's where we get the glass from. Okie doke. Um, yeah, not found too much stone. 
hardly any, in fact. I mean, we can't sort of uh, mine anything like this. We can't go and hack at these bits or anything like that. And we can't pick up the little bits of stone that are lying around. It has to be these sort of specific big lumps here. But, okay, hopefully, if I get this one and get the other one that's over to the left on the screen there, that should be enough for us to actually get building some nice fancy sort of stonework floors or whatever. I mean, even if we have just stone floors, that's quite nice. I like the sound of that. Um, here we go. Let's get this as well. And let's hope that there aren't any sort of wild beasties that come out at night. You know, like wolves or whatever. But uh, do you know what? Time will tell, I suppose. Right, let's get this stone and then let's go back to where we were going to actually set up our home. Okay, I found an abandoned lumberjack cottage. A small cottage fit for a lumberjack wishing to live off the land. Has been abandoned for many years. This shack could be home to a woodcutting friend one day. Okay, so we have a fishing friend and a woodcutting friend. Also, it's very, very, very dark right now. It is very, very dark in the game. So on the screen, it's also going to look very, very dark. Um, okay, right, let's see if we can find our way home in the dark. Plus, I'm a bit lost. So hopefully, it's over here. Um, nope, that's the way into a terrifying, creepy mine of horrors, no doubt. I don't think we should go into the terrifying, creepy mine of horrors. Let's just sort of wander about over this way and see if we can find our way back to where we once were. Okay, so the good news is I found a bit more stone. The bad news is I am completely and utterly lost. I don't know where I am. Have we been here before? No, because that's a kind of big pond type thing. And I don't think we'd set up near there before. Um, okay, do you know what? Whilst we're here, however, just in case we need some more clay, there is a big kind of clay deposit thing there. So let's grab that. I think... I think we might want to head over to the sort of the right or the east, possibly. I don't quite have a compass, but over to the right of the screen. I think that might be where we need to go next. If we just kind of head over here in the gloom. I mean, I think, I think the moon might have come out. Here we go. Right. Was this the place where we were going to set up? I think it was. I think we might have found our way sort of back home, in air quotes, in a sort of, in a roundabout haphazard way. Yeah, there we go. There is the bridge. Okay, look, so let's set up over here then. So how is the crafting going to work? Or is it worth waiting for daytime to do some crafting so we can all see what's going on? Do you know what? I think it might be worth waiting for daytime. I don't think... Hang on, let's just eat a few more blueberries. There we go, delicious. Um, I don't think we have any kind of weight capacity because right now we're carrying around... Oh, there you go, we do. We can carry 150 logs. We can carry 150 stone. Is it 150 of everything? Yeah. So 150 is our maximum carry capacity. So let's stock up, shall we? While we wait for the sun to come up, let's go and stock up on lots of different things and then, you know, just be ready for the morning when we get building our fancy house. There we go. That's much better. It's daytime again. We can all see. So yes, we spent the night collecting resources and then when we were done, we came over here to the little sort of bedroll thing and had a sleep and then woke up and it's lovely and beautiful and bright again. So let's go and get building, shall we? So let's head over here and let's see if we can actually build out into the sea at all. Because that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Having a little sort of veranda out over the sea would be quite pretty. So how does this all work then? So go to here, a stone building, stone foundation, fancy stone pavers on a strong and sturdy foundation. That's a recipe for a great home. Okay, so we should be able to build a few of these because I think we have maxed out on stone. So how does this work? I mean, can we build out into there? No, we can't. However, we can, uh, we can almost build out like that. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We can build like that. Um, okay, hang on. Rotate it round. I don't quite know what the arrow is pointing to, but if we pop something just there... Okay, so we have ourselves a bit of stone. Oh, yes, look, we can. We can build out into the sea. Oh, hang on. But hang on. Now we can't build just there. <laughs> we can't build just there. Um, hang on. How about some steps? Do you want some steps going up to that? I kind of thought maybe we could build here and then just there. Um... Okay, no, that's not got in, gone entirely according to plan, has it? I suppose we can still get to... Why can't we build just there? Um, okay, I guess if we take something apart, then... Oh, hang on. Right-click. Okay, right-click comes out of build mode. Okie doke. How do we get rid of this? How do we get rid of this just here? Um, because we're going to want to have an extra bit, I think. We're going to want to have an extra bit kind of across here. Uh, okay, okay. No, this this is all fine. This is all fine. We can't do exactly what we're going to do, but it looks okay. I mean, what's that? Oh, that's stone ceiling. We can't do much with that. That's just steps. I and mean, when we could, we could use up a bit of our stone and just put some steps just there. There we go. We have a tiny, tiny way onto the uh, onto our sort of floaty island. And then, 
we'll just have a bit like that and a bit like that and a bit like that. So there's our kind of platform. And then, okay, hang on. We need a stone doorway because that would be good. So there we go. We have a door. This is very good. And then a stone window probably on... Uh, let's have some windows on that side. Oh, hang on. We're out of... Hang on. What resources are we out of? Glass. Okay. Yeah, that, that's probably fair. We only picked up a few of those as we went around the place. Okay, so we can't have too many windows. So let's have a wall and a wall. Okay, now we can't have walls. Okay, right, we're out of stone. We're out of stone. But look, we can, <laughs> we can go through the door. <laughs> so there we go. Um, maybe, maybe we just scour the beaches for a bit of glass. Because we found a bit before, didn't we? Like a sort of you know, washed up bottle. In fact, is that a bit right there? Yep, that's two bits. Oh, there's loads. There's loads over here. Yep. Okay. We'll take all of that stuff. And um, and then, yeah, we'll grab some more stone as well. I mean, there is a very lovely, convenient... Oh, hang on. Let's hit it with the right thing, though. A lovely chunk of stone to have. So, um, yeah, let's just get this. Go and grab some more resources and continue building our ludicrously, potentially excessive, you know, for a first home in this game house. But I quite like the idea. And then we need to build a bed and we need to build a workbench thing because I feel like they are quite important things to have in this type of game. But uh, okay, first things first, go and have a little look around the beaches for some more glass, and then maybe get some more stone on the way. Okay, I found a little sort of route over here via these sort of shallow rocks to what looks like another island. Okay, oh, oh, there's a thing on it. Hang on, equip the stabby looking tool, and let's go and see what we can do to the thing. Take that thing, take that, and it's exploded. Okay. I mean, I apologise to the thing, because it's probably, you know, native to here, and I've just come and stomped on its head. The sandstone altar. Oh, there's a giant thing. There is a giant, scary-looking thing over there. I don't know if I want to tangle with the giant-looking thing. I've only just arrived, and I don't feel confident. Is this stone, however? We will have some of your stone, giant, terrifying-looking monster thing. But, um, yeah, we might leave you alone. Hang on, I've, got, I've, I've lost my stride now in terms of using the critical hit thing, because of the giant, scary monster thing. Hang on, let's just get this stone... And we'll be on our way. It was limestone. Ah, botherations. Okay. I don't like the look of that thing. That thing looks scary and alarming. We're going to do the brave and, you know, one true thing that we should do right now. And that is run in totally the opposite direction. And, you know, at least remain alive, which is very sort of handy. So here we go. Let's keep looking for some more lovely shiny rock. I think that's limestone, so that's no good. Okay, I've happened across another mysterious secret thing on the island. Because, yeah, what is this all about? So... There are three great big kind of stone rectangles. Kind of like, you know, a poor man's Stonehenge, I suppose. Because they haven't got the kind of, you know, the bars across the top or anything. Although, they do have lovely happy symbols on them. So, that one's got what looks like a sunshine. That's got a sort of triangle. And that's got, what's that, like an electricity pylon? It might be a tree. It might be a tree. And there's something here, like an old sort of round, sort of floor mosaic or something. Which has kind of, you know, been sort of uh, left to fall into disrepair and it's covered in dust and it's broken and what have you. Okay, not quite sure what we do with this. I don't know if we do anything with that particularly right now, but okay, okay, that's fine. How much stone do we have? 107 stone. I would like to think that's enough to just finish off. Oh, there's the creepy cave of doom. Not going in there right now. Um, I'd like to think that, yeah, the 107 stone we've got is enough to finish off our little building. Hopefully it is. So, right, let's find our way back home, wherever that might be. And um, and then, yeah, we'll just go and pop a few more walls on and then a roof, maybe. And then we'll go, go and do some of the stuff. We might have to possibly think about doing some farming or something. And then maybe, if we have enough stone left over, we could go and repair the bridge. Hang on. Hang on. There's some more stone over here that I completely, completely not seen. I mean, this is going to be wonderful. This is going to help us a great deal getting these little bits of stone here. So, right, let's get these and let's head over to our little sort of, you know, not quite yet complete house. And here we are. Now, interestingly, over there, I think that is the limestone thing that we went and destroyed. Did we not go and destroy that not that long ago? So maybe resources do come back. Maybe they slowly grow back over time or whatever. But OK, right. So let's finish this off then, shall we? So we can have another window. It might make sense to have a window looking out of the front of the house. I mean, ideally, I'd like a window looking out of each side. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? But there we go. Right. So, um, yeah, we can't have any more windows because we have no glass. Right. Wall there and a wall there. OK, right. So we have finished. Hang on. What? Why have we got a little tiny wall? What? Hang on. What? Come out of that. Where's the where's the rest of the wall gone around the door? Oh, no, it's there. It is there. It is there. It just looked a bit odd. Okay. Okay. 
it vanishes so we can see what's inside. Right, I see a game. I was a bit concerned. Um, and then we need some roof. Okay, so corner roof sections. Oh, we can have we can have a lovely pointy roof on our house. I like that. Or do we just want a straight roof, kind of like that? Um, let's have. Do you know what? I quite like the pointy roofs. I think all the roof sections are the same cost. So yeah, let's get let's get some lovely corner things. Now, can we afford all of these? Um, what do we need? Forty stone, twenty wood, and twenty clay. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Oh, this is wonderful. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on. So, one, and rotate that round, and two, and rotate it, and three, and then rotate that, and four, and we have a little house in the sea, which has got a roof, and it's got doors, and it's got floors, everybody. We've built a thing with floors. This hardly ever happens. Okay, right, so now we need to build some stuff inside of here. I feel like that might be quite handy. Um, so, where was the... There we go. A bed. Skip the night, sleep in your bed. That's red. Okay. <laughs> okay, it is red. Let's put it by the window. So, you know, we can have the window open and we can hear the sound of the sea and it can send us off to sleep. So, pop one of those in and then a workbench. This is going to be very handy. So, let's put that over there. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking what we're doing so far. Um, Right. So, a chair... A small drawer. Hang on. I would like a table and chair. I'd also like one of these. We need some more wood, by the look of it. We need some more wood. Oh, a little rug. A rug might be nice as you come in the door. There we go. Pop a little rug down so you can wipe your feet so you don't bring in the sand or whatever. Um, and a plant. A plant in a pot. Oh, I like this. This is wonderful. Um, okay. Let's put the plant in a pot just there. I like that little bit of colour to the house. Very good. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind a table for 40 wood and one of those for 15 so what's that 55 and a chair for eight so about 65 i think ish okay let's see if we can go and chop down a few trees it is getting dark again i noticed so let's just very quickly try and just uh just chop down a few trees there we go there's one gone already so that's 10 20 that's another 18 one do you know what we could do just so we can all see, because it is getting dark. Oh, do you know what we should do? We should possibly eat some food. There we go. Yay for food. Um, Let's just go to bed. Let's just have a nice sleep, and then we'll wake up in the morning, and it shall all be wonderful. There we go. Wow. Oh, look at that. I bet the view out of that window is beautiful. Okay. Right, here we go. We can all see again, which makes life a lot easier. Right, so let's get this massive tree, because this tree has got to be... This has got to be worth a lot of wood, surely, because this tree is huge. So let's get this tree... And then we'll build ourselves a few nice things in the house. And then we'll think about repairing that bridge. And then possibly we could... Oh yeah, we're going to get some farming done as well. That should be more than enough wood. Surely, surely that's loads of wood. Right, so in we go. And let's go to here. So yeah, we're one of these. So a wooden light post. A small wooden candle lamp. Um. Oh, I thought we could have it outside. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping to have that outside. Um... Okay, do you know what then? Let's put it... Let's put it... Um, can we change the... I don't know if we can change the camera angle. I don't know if we can actually change the camera angle. I think it might be fixed, this view. Um, how about then? We put it there, so it's kind of by the door as you come in. Uh, no, we can now. Oh, there we go. We can change the camera angle now. But then do we come back out of it? Yeah. Well, there we go. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. Do we have water in our house? I suspect maybe we have some water coming in <laughs> Possibly should have raised our foundations ever so slightly. It's fine. It, it's all fine. It's all lovely. It's part of the uh, part of the ambience. Um, okay, no, this is fine. And then we want to get a table. And let's pop a table just there. And then we will have a chair. Because that's how these things work. So we'll try and put it as near to the table as we can. Okay, we've made ourselves a little house. We don't have much wood left right now. But I quite like that. I think that looks very nice. I do think the water... How is the water coming in over that side? That's all a bit silly. Uh, okay, right. I like that. Right, now let's go and do some other stuff. We've built a little house, which is marvellous. How about then? How about some sort of farming thing? What do we need for that? A stone frame farm. Farming area to grow your crops. Less prone to termites. Ah, because it's made of stone rather than wood. Okay, or an ornate one. Can we build an ornate one? Yes, we can. An extravagant and extraordinary farm to grow your crops. Yes, we shall have extravagant and extraordinary, please. Because why wouldn't we? Um, okay, one there. And 
I don't think we have the resources to build another. We're short on... Are we short on, like, the sort of reed plant thing in the jigs? The plant matter. Surely we can go and stack up on that very easily. There's loads of it around. I mean, if we face the right way, that would help even more. But there we go. So just chop and chop these things apart. Chop and chop that apart. No, loads of it. There's absolutely loads of it around. Right, hang on. Let's go and stock up on this stuff. There we go. So I think we should have enough plant fibre things. And also, while I was going around the place, I did pick up some more stone and some more wood as well, because it can't do any harm, can it? So here we go. Let's go into here and let's get another ornate frame farm set up. So let's put that just there, because I don't think we can put one just there. So, OK, we'll pop that just there. Now, can we get a well? Can we get a well? A bore well used as a water source for farming? No, we can't quite yet. We need 50 more stone. OK, never mind. So we're not going to do that right now. Um, OK, dog. Right, so that's good. Now, how do we use this? What exactly do we do? Do we just click on it? Uh, ah, OK, right. Blueberries. OK, so we can plant all of our blueberries. I suspect maybe what we should do is eat some of them. So there we go. We'll have a snack on some blueberries. Right, so plant, plant all. Plant, does that mean plant everything we have or just plant the blueberries? Okay, plant blueberries. Okay, is that, do we have to just keep, a plant, a plant all the blueberries. Right, I see, we've planted all the blueberries. Uh, and now, now what do we do? Just a little blueberry seedling. I mean, do we need to water it or anything? I'm not entirely sure. We have got some roses. Do you know what, just to make it look nice. Let's put some roses at the end here on our sort of, you know, on a door facing side. So we open the door and see some lovely, lovely roses growing. That's quite nice. We can't eat them. So we might be crawling out the door starving to death and we'll see some roses. I mean, we might try and eat them out of desperation. But, um, but OK, right. So we're on half hunger and we have now no food because we just planted it. However... What is this I see here? Are they blueberries? I think they are. Hurrah, right, we've been saved. So we have picked up a few more blueberries. Um, one of which we will snack on now, I think. Right, let's have a look at fixing this bridge. What do we need? Because that leads to a town, and that sounds quite promising. So we have the limestone. We need 80 stone. How much stone do we have? 46. Okay, so not quite as bad as I thought it might be. Uh, okay, there was a stone deposit down here, wasn't there? So let's go and get this. And there was another one up near where our house is, sort of over to the, what, sort of northwest or whatever was it. So we'll go and get that as well. And then we'll try and repair that bridge. Although I imagine we're going to have to repair it in sections. That's how I imagine this is going to go. So we'll bring back some resources. We'll probably repair this bit with our first bit of resources, and then we'll have to get some more and then repair the next bit and so on and so forth. Like a sort of you know, great big ongoing project, but that's fine, we can work on that. We have a house, we have a bed, we're growing some things that we might possibly be able to eat, possibly maybe if they actually grow and don't die. So um, so yeah, Joe, it's all fine, it's all fine. So right, let's go and find this stone that I thought was over here that's not here. There's some just there though, so that'll probably do. Okay, we now have 90 stones, so let's head back to the bridge. Okay, we're at the bridge, so here we go. Let us repair the bridge. Now, how is this going to work exactly? That, that was remarkably efficient. Wow, is the entire bridge fixed? Oh, okay, oh, well done, Len. I was kind of expecting to do that in many, many chunks, but no. Okay, here we go, and we found our way to a town. Okay, so we're not so lost after all. We're not quite so lost because here we are at a town. Um, hello, how are you? Mayor Gerald. Oh, good name. Good afternoon, friend. Hello, Mayor Gerald. Um, how can I help you? Um, what is this place? This is Bridgewater Traveller. My name is Gerald. I am the mayor of this corner of the world. If you're settling on the island, beware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travellers have come to the island in search of its power. Few ever returned. Okay, that doesn't sound ominous at all. This town is built by travellers such as yourself, seeking new beginnings. And the island is a paradise for those who dare to live on it. Just be careful, my friend. Okay, okay, hang on. So this is Bridgewater, but the sort of uh, sort of signpost thing that's pointed to where we live is called Forgotten Island. Good, good. I'm not surprised if nobody mended the bridge. I mean, I came along, I've been here, what, a couple of days, and I fixed up that bridge really, really well. Look at this. Look at this, Mayor Gerald. And how long have you been here? Did you think to fix that bridge? Okay, right, let's have a little look around then. Oh, some of these houses are very nice. Oh, why didn't we do that with our house? Oh, I want a little kind of veranda type thing now. Oh, these are all wonderful. Right, hang on. Can we find somebody that will sell us, like, food and seeds and things? Um, Martinelle, hello, what a beautiful afternoon it is. Yeah, 
Okay, lovely. We're gonna starve to death. Can we please have some food? Oh, this is very, very pretty. Look at this. What a lovely, lovely place this is. It's very nice. So there's a florist over here. I don't think we're really in need of flowers, but okay. We do have, however, some lavender. We did pick up some lavender. Can we sell that to you? Ashley, who appears to be green, but Joe, you know what? That's fine. Hi, Ashley. I like you. You're green. Very good. Hi, friend. End. Oh, Okay, I thought maybe we could do some trading. I thought maybe we could, you know, exchange goods or whatever. But no, that's fine. A tailor. Backpacks, clothes, and magic. Okay, right. So we are in a kind of mysterious world of magic. Okay, there's a backpack there. Increases inventory to 250. Hotbar slots to five. Costs 75 golden coins. I don't think we have any coins right now. Not entirely sure how we make any money. Um, a blacksmith. That would be wonderful if we had any currency to trade with. Is anybody selling any food? Somebody please, you know, sell us a, a, I don't know, a carrot or a hot dog or something. <laughs> please, somebody, we don't have much food and we might possibly die a little bit if we don't eat very, very soon. I mean, you know, that's been kind of dug out for us, I think, over there. Um, ah, farmer's market. Farmer's market. Here we go. This is what we want. Right. Hello. Can we put our pickaxe away? Do we put it away? No, not by the look of it. Right. Hello. How are you? Good afternoon, says Steph end okay <laughs> so if we click that ah here we go right we can click on the relevant things and then sell them okay what do we have what do we have in terms of this we've got we've got lavender and we've got marigold okay where was where was the flower person <laughs> they're around the corner they're around the corner over here flower person flower person um can we can we do this oh hang on that scrolls through our things i thought i might zoom in um right lavender okay lavender's that so right sell let's sell our lavenders we got rid of it and we made five lovely coins and then we've got what else have we got three marigolds okay are they marigolds um marigolds uh okay hang on hang on a minute we've got oh it's a minimum of five is it okay that's fine. That's okay. We can deal with that. Right, so let's go over here. So what can we buy for not very much money at all? Ah. Okay, right. What other resources have we got that we could possibly sell? We've got some wood. We've got some wood. Would anybody like to buy some wood from us? I don't quite know where we'd go for that kind of thing. Um, okay, right. Is anybody willing to buy any wood? The bakery. Oh, the bakery's for sale. The bakery's for sale. Can we buy the bakery? 2,000 monies, absolutely not. We're a little bit short. Okay, right, I am aware that it is very, very dark again. Night time has come around and it really does get very, very dark indeed around these parts, but I have found a kind of workbench thing where we can sell some wood. So here we go, what if we sell, um, I don't know, what, could, what if we sell 60 wood for six coins? So that means we now have, what, 11 coins apparently, according to the backpack which is about the only thing that I can see on the screen. So, okay, right, in the gloom, can we find our way to the farmer's market again? And can we possibly just buy, I don't know, some carrot seeds or something? Okay, we're really hungry. We do need to eat some food. There we go, we've eaten a tiny bit of food. Um, right, so the farmer's market was up around here, I think, it's, it's so very dark indeed. Right, what can we buy? What can we buy that we could possibly plant? Um, right, they're, they're bananas, no chance of that. That's some bread, but we can't plant the bread. Oh, yeah, I'm aware of how that works. We can't plant that. That's wheat, but I don't think that's going to be overly useful. Um, that's blueberries. We can find blueberries, so that's okay. Passion fruit. Okay, that'd be quite good, but alas, we can't do that either. Um, what's that there? That's watermelon, and that, that is pumpkins, and we can't afford those either. Botherations. There are a load of pumpkins there. Could we just creep in under the cover of darkness and maybe... Right, hang on, there's a big green thing. Okay, right, big green glowing thing. Um, under the cover of darkness, could we possibly help ourselves to these? Uh, no, no, the game is making us be honest. Uh, okay, do you know what game, it's fine. Right, what we'll do is, we'll head home, we'll have a sleep, we'll hopefully not starve to death, and then we'll try and gather a load of resources and then just come back, apart from I'm completely lost. Uh, we'll come back here and maybe try and do a little bit of selling just to see if we can maybe get some pumpkins or something. 
just to see if we can get something to plant on our little bit of the island. So then, yeah, we can become a little bit more self-sufficient. But OK, farewell, Mayor Gerald, for now. Don't thank me for building a bridge or anything. Cheerio. Oh, and that's a little bit better. Our wonderful little sort of candle thingamajig over there is actually casting a bit of light into our house, which is very good. One thing we didn't look at was this just here. So the level one workbench. What does that let us do? So we can build a gate, a circular window. That looks quite nice. A bay window. Oh, I do like that. Oh, I see. Right. We have to learn these things. We have to learn how to do these new sort of things by spending salvage metal on them. OK, that's quite interesting. So we can get ourselves a fireplace and a refinery, new sort of uh, furniture things, proper ornate lamp, a nice circular rug, a lovely circular table. That would be quite nice. And farming stuff, a garden bed and a signpost. Oh, that might be quite nice. Uh, OK, so there's plenty of stuff. And then up here, what are they? Oh, like fancier tools and weapons and things. OK, and a and a watering can. OK, right. A basic watering can. Standard can for watering your crops holds two uses. Hang on. Hang on. Are we supposed to are we supposed to make one of them now? How do we make one of those? We need some wood and we need some whatever that is. Iron shards. I am lacking for iron shards right now. Um, OK, OK, fine. Right, hang on. Let's go to bed then. Let's go and have a lovely sleep. I think it saves when we sleep. So, hooray, there we go. Right, so lovely shiny day. And how are the plants looking? Little seedlings. OK, right, let's try and, I don't know, go and scavenge some resources. We'll just chop down some trees. We'll get some, I don't know, plants or something. And then we'll try and sell some stuff and then maybe get enough money together to plant some pumpkins or whatever. And then could we buy some iron shards to make a watering can? I kind of feel like a watering can is going to be important in looking after the little sort of plants we've got going in. So maybe we should look at that as well. Right, but let's go and gather some resources as best we can anyway. Actually, do you know what might be more important than gathering some resources? Maybe going to find some food because in a moment we are going to starve to death. Hopefully they are blueberries. Please be blueberries. Nope, that's lavender. That's not going to keep us alive at all. Uh, nope, that's more lavender. I mean, we can sell that at some point in the future. But yeah, we can't eat it, which is all a bit bad. Our hunger is now on two. Right, OK. <laughs> I mean, can, can we find some blueberries? Please let us into some blueberries somewhere. There must be some blueberries somewhere around the place or we are going to starve to death just the tiniest bit. Or do we then start taking damage? All right, we are taking damage quite considerable amounts of damage until we find some blueberries. I don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, at least we built a nice house, eh? At least we built a lovely house. There must be some blueberries. Come on. Come on, Len. Hunt those blueberries down. You can snack on some blueberries and it will be delicious. However, can't see any right now. Health is tumbling. Oh, dearie me. OK. <laughs> right. So the lesson is don't plant all your blueberries because you might need to eat them all. A lesson we can all learn from, I feel. It's a cautionary tale. Uh, right. OK. The search for blueberries continues. Maybe we can look over here. Can't see anything. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Here, here. Please be blueberries so we do not die. And it's blueberries. Right, quick. <laughs> eat the blueberries. There we go. Right. I kind of feel like we should go and get some more blueberries <laughs> just in case, because that was a little bit close, wasn't it? That was a tiny, tiny bit close to the whole being dead thing. So maybe we'll just go and try and find some more for a nice sort of, you know, nice midday snack later on. OK, so we're back in Bridgewater and it is daytime, which is very helpful. So we can sort of see where we're going. Now, we do have some resources. Hello, people of Bridgewater. I come with many resources. OK, so let's go over here. I think we have got plenty of marigolds. We can sell them in bunches of five for five gold apiece. I think we have 10 marigolds. We might have a few more. So there is 10 money coming our way, which is very nice. And then I think we have as well some lavender. So, OK, we haven't got quite 10 of that, but there you go. We have five of that, so we can sell that for a bit as well. Do we have any roses? I think we might have picked up a few, but not enough to sell. Right, hang on. And then where was the guy... Is he over here? Where's the guy that uh, that wants to buy the wood? Because we picked up a bit of that as well. And there's quite a lot of that around. There's an awful lot of wood around. So, um, yeah, here we go. So we'll sell, I don't know, how much wood can we sell? As much as we can. So there you go. Joe, we'll keep a little bit. We'll keep a bit of wood. So we'll sell that for 10 money. 
Okay, this is very good. We'll have to uh, very quickly snack on some, guess what, everybody? Blueberries. <laughs> My goodness me, that can't be good for the stomach. Poor Len. <laughs> okay, and then, and then let's head over here to the farming place, to the farm supplies, whatever it is, the farmer's market, and see if we can't buy anything exciting. How about these? Can we please buy five pumpkins? We can't buy, we can't buy 10 pumpkins, but we can certainly buy five. For 20 of the monies, okay, okay, we've bought some pumpkins. Right, and there was a blacksmith somewhere over here. Does the blacksmith, there we go. Can we buy some sort of whatever, or shards? Is it iron shards or something? Is that what they are? Um, yes, they are very expensive. Okay, how much money do we have? We have 16 money right now, okay. So that will, that will be all of our iron shards, I think. But I think if we do that, we can build our watering can. Do you know what? Go on then. Fine, fine blacksmith. Who are you? Jared the blacksmith. Hey, take a look around. I just did. What can I do for you? I'm browsing the goods. Enjoy your afternoon. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, it's a shiny thing. Um, Right. Okay. So with that done, with our purchases made, let's run back home. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, lovely people. Uh, we'll run back home. And then we'll try and get those pumpkins planted. And we'll also have a go at making a watering can, which will be very, very exciting. However, I am now a bit lost. Pirate Town is in that direction. Hang on. Hang on. Where do we want to go? I think we're over here. Hang on. Yeah, we're over here because we go past this nice kind of little sort of flower box thing. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cheerio, Mayor Gerald. Back in a bit. Okay. So firstly, can we plant all the pumpkins? I imagine we can. So yeah. Okay. Five available. Plant all of those. Oh, only two. We've only planted two of those. I thought we bought many pumpkins. Hang on a minute, hang on. Have we just been done over? It looks like there are only two in there. Um, okay, we'll have to have a bit of a snack on blueberries. Surprise, surprise. Right, and then go into here. Oh, there's a barrel. There's a barrel right outside. Take that barrel and that. Yeah, and boom. What do we get out of that? Some kind of random bits of metal or whatever. Right, so go into here. Ah, look, we can now unlock these things because we have got some salvage metal. However, what we want to do is we want to go to here and make us this, a basic watering can. Craft that, please. There we go. Ooh, Ooh it went all kind of wibbly. Okay, that's very exciting. Um, Okay, so now how do we equip the watering can? Ah, oh, I see. Right, this is why you want to get a better backpack because you can only have four things down here on your hotbar. So you generally want your machete type thing, your axe and your pickaxe, and then a food, because they're generally what you want to use. But yeah, if you have uh, extra items like we do now, you have to fiddle about sort of moving things around. So it does make sense to go and get the bigger backpack, because then you don't have to do quite so much kind of, you know, fiddling about with inventory. Okay, we'll put that there for now. And let's head out this way. Let's go to number three. Okay, so how does this work then? So we're just going to water how do we how do we do this then do we just press how do we ah, ah hang on right there's a button there's a button so if we press q we're just gonna oh look at that we've watered the two bits do we need to do it again extra spot of water okay that's very exciting right we'll have another bit of a snack before uh before bedtime uh okay right let's go to bed and let's see what happens in the morning so do we have any progress on anything in the morning oh oh look Yes, we do. So now things are a little bit, a little bit bigger and a little bit sort of greener. Okay, I mean, let's give it another spot of water. Watering can is empty. Uh, okay, is it is it bad to give it? Is it bad to give it? There? Do we just need to walk in the sea to kind of fill up the watering can? I would assume. Is it wise? Should we be watering the plants with sea water? I don't know, but do you know what? We are because that's the kind of person Len is. Uh, okay, okay. So now I think what we should do is, I mean, we could wait for those to grow. A fresh sprouting plant with a long growth cycle ahead. Oh, good. That'll grow flowers. And that is a blueberry plant. Okay. I think, I think just for the sake of it, let's go and have a look in the, uh, in the mysterious kind of cave thing. 
because we might as well go and poke our nose in. Whilst we're here, whilst we are investigating Lens Island, let's go and find the mysterious cave of inevitable doom and death and torture and beasties, and we'll just go and have a little nose around and just see what's inside. Well, we would if I could find the cave, but I have no idea where it is. Hopefully it's over here somewhere. Ah, yes, there it is. A terribly sinister cave indeed. Right, okay, here we go. Let's go into the terribly sinister cave and see what happens. Oh, I like that. That's all a bit kind of a Indiana Jones, Lara Croft-esque, that kind of screenshot there. Okay, okay, so the ancient caves, as I can see. Oh, there are things in here. There's a tool chest. Ah, so we can swap out our tools if we want. So wherever there is a tool chest, wherever in the game, we can swap our tools out and we kind of have access to everything. Okay, that's fine. Right, so we can go and get these rocks here if we would like. There's some barrels. Okay, well, do you know what? Let's take the barrels apart because there might be nice things within. Okay, so there are a few things in there, and yeah, loads of scrap metal, so we could do some learning. We could go and learn how to craft some new things. Okay, um, ah, right, that is broken. That is broken, so our first job, coming down into the mysterious ancient caves, would be to repair that. Ah, or we could head over in this direction which then it feels all a little bit precarious. There's a lot of stone in here, as you would expect in a, in a cave. But, um, okay, okay. Let's go and see if we have enough wood on us to repair that thing. Have we got enough wood to repair this here? Because we did keep some. Use air rolls to jump over long distances. You can jump further when air rolling. Run and jump forward. After you've left the ground, trigger a roll. This perform an air roll. Is that what that is? I think I pressed the button earlier and I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, oh... Nope, that was just me falling on my face. Okay, <laughs> maybe not that. Let's try again, show. Hang on, that's jump. Hang on, so jump and then roll. Oh, oh, very fancy. Hang on though. Hang on. Can we just repair the bridge in the first place to save me smashing my head into the uh, into the side there? No, it doesn't look like we can. We have to kind of do this fancy. So, oh, hang on. Now we can. Ah, we haven't got enough wood. Okay, fancy rolling thing it is on the way back. Uh, okay, so a lamp thing. We could light it if we had whatever that is, but I don't think we've got any. Probably coal. Oh, I like this. This is all very mysterious. And again, very, very dark. They do like a bit of darkness in Lens Island. Um, okay, right. So are there any kind of beasties anywhere? Ooh. Ooh. There's a thing. Ooh, there's a thing. There's a beastie. A beastie's come out of whatever that thing is. Hang on, let's go just jab at that. I can't even see what that is. But I'm hitting it with all my might. Am I taking damage? I don't know. But I am hitting it and it's exploded. Although I can't see what it is. But whatever it was, it's not there anymore. Hooray, go us. Okay, we're going to make our way out of here because it is very, very dark. But I do like the fact that this is here. And you can go and get loads of stone from here. I do think that is a, you know, a, a sensible kind of thing. Because we're inside a kind of cave. So stone would be quite common. But there we go. So we've had a little look around. And there are kind of beastie monster things in there. But it is very dark. So I think the idea is, as you travel through the cave, you go and light those lanterns and they cast a bit of light to help you out. But there we go. I don't quite know what we needed to light them with. I would assume, yeah, like coal or some other sort of combustible type thing. But whatever the case, there we go. We've had a nosy in there, which was, you know, interesting. It was interesting to see, but there were some beasties. So of course, yeah, we ran away a bit. Okay, so what I'd like to do is get some of our plants harvested. I'd like to grow some of our own stuff, just because that would feel like a kind of you know, a good sense of achievement. I think that would be a good kind of thing to do, but it's going to take a while. I think we might need to wait until tomorrow and we can't go to sleep right now because it's the middle of the day and the game just says no. So what we could do is we could go repair this bridge here, which is toward the north of the island. So we need 80 wood to do that and we have 29 wood so we are going to need to go and chop down a few trees but that's fine that is absolutely fine we have time to do that we've got the resources so let's go and just get a little bit more wood and then we'll go and repair that bridge and see what is on the other side because what is there it, you know, it's clearly there for a reason so is there something exciting is there a terrifying monster across the other side i do not know so let's go and fix the bridge and then we'll go and have a look and i think we have enough wood which is very good okay so repair this bridge as if by magic there we go right so what is across the other side it's another broken bridge this is how i thought that first one was going to go kind of you know bridges in stages but okay so another 80 wood is required how much do we actually have again 23 Okay, right. I mean, we can go and do that as well. Let's not chop the bridge apart, though, Len. That'll be a terrible idea because you are stood on it. Um, okay, right. Let's just go and chop down some more trees. Get 80 wood again. Okay, so bridge section one repaired. And now bridge section two magically repaired. 
So what is over here? Oh, oh, it's a little house. Okay, can we go inside? Oh, there's an, hang on. There's an upstairs to the house. However, this house has seen better days. There are a couple of um, barrel type things over here. And when we could always crack those open to see what's in those, that could be quite handy. So just a load of sort of metal component things. I mean, this is a lovely spot for a house. It is very, very picturesque here. It's lovely, look at that. Really lovely wide views of the ocean and everything. But yeah, I mean, it is quite far away from everything else. But, um, but yeah, okay, right. So we've discovered that. We've done some more repairs around the island. Um, right, I think now the hour is getting late. So let's head back home, go to sleep. And then in the morning, let's see if we can harvest some of our crops because I think that will be a good, lovely thing and give us a nice sense of achievement. Okay, so the game is now saying we can go and have a bit of a sleep, which is wonderful. However, I think maybe just before we go and have our nap, I think maybe we need to eat a little bit just to get our hunger topped up there. So right now we have no food at all. So let's go to sleep. Hopefully in the morning when we wake up, we're not going to be too hungry. Um, no, there was no hunger at all. We didn't lose anything overnight because we were asleep. And here we go. What is this over here? Do we have some blueberries? I suspect we might. Okay, so if we click that, small berries are starting to grow. However, they're much too small and sour to eat just yet. Oh, boo game, boo. And... Slowly getting there, but not fully developed yet. Okay, so the pumpkins are slowly but surely getting there. Do you know what, though? They would get there. Oh, let's not chop them apart, Len. Don't do that. Don't do that. That would be silly. Um, Yeah, I think yeah, that makes sense because pumpkins take a while. Pumpkins take a while. And the berries are small, but they're not quite ready yet. But there we go. We are at least growing some stuff. And I think with that done, I think we will finish things up for now. I think we've had a very, very good look at Len's Island. And I think this is very enjoyable. It's very relaxing. It is very, very calm and relaxing. I mean, as you're wandering about now, there are no kind of, you know, there's no threats. We're not being chased by wolves or monsters or bears or anything. It's quite nice. You can just have a leisurely sort of wander about. And if you do want to go and have a bit of a fight with something, you know that you can go to that weird island with that giant crab thing. Or I guess you could go wandering about the caves. And it kind of does cater to all sorts of different kind of, you know, game styles and what you like from a game. So if you want to do exploring, you could go and craft loads of weapons and then go into the dungeons and have a wander about there. Or if you like doing the whole farming thing and the trading, you could do that if you wanted to. And I guess if you didn't want to, you don't have to go wandering through the dungeons at all. I mean, I guess you probably should do both. You should mix it up. But if you really don't like that kind of stuff, you don't have to do it, which I do quite like. And it does look very pretty. It's really, really pretty. I do think, now it's in early access, so of course, you know, it's not complete and all that. I do think that food is a little bit hard to come by. It would be nice to have some different kind of native foods on this island, you know, other than blueberries. It'd be nice if we could, you know, find some carrots or something, you know, some cabbages or whatever. It'd be nice if there was something other than blueberries. It does feel a bit like you are sort of forced to go to the other island by repairing the bridge and then go and do some trading to grab other things. But, you know, maybe I missed something. Maybe there's a great big load of native foods on a little bit of island that we haven't seen just yet. I do not know. But you know what? It's been very good. I think we'll keep our eye on it. We'll keep our eye on it. And we might well pop back at some point when it's a little bit more developed, I think. When there's more sort of, yeah, more involved and more going on and such like. We might come back and have a further look at it. But yeah, we'll finish up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well. And they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>